Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Vintage Chic Scents Haul. Now, it's a fairly large haul, but there's only one loaf. The rest are just a bunch of her shapes. And, yes, I know I'm on a low buy. Yes, I think you know that 90% of the participants in this low buy collab are failing miserably at this collab. Anyway, that's okay. We're failing at the low buy. We'll say that. Because the theme weeks, those are great. Those are going well. The not buying stuff, it's not working out too well. Anyway, this was her Hamilton restock. Now, if you know me, you know I love Broadway, you know I love New York, and I love Hamilton. So, she offered Hamilton scents, so I knew I had to get them. And then, she had her Scream restocks. This is like a combo of two smaller orders that I'm just talking about at once, because they both weren't big enough for a haul. So anyway, let's jump right into it. The first sample that I have is in Stabathon. This is one of the new scents from the Scream launch, and this is Jungle Juice Inspired Blend, which, isn't that like a fruit punch? And that's really what it smells like, like a very strong fruit punch fragrance. It's good. It'll be good for the summer. I would never order that, but it's nice. All right, let's talk about the Hamilton scents. The first one we have is Satisfied, and this is Blackberry Cobbler, Zucchini Bread, and Whipped Cream. You know me, my Zucchini Bread. You immediately get the Zucchini Bread. Blackberry Cobbler, you can smell, it's not Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. It has that blackberry in it, but it's a little bit more of that jammy fragrance, and you know I love a jammy scent. I love when the fruit is like macerated and rich and warm and gooey and delicious. And that's exactly what it smells like. And whipped cream, I think, just really adds a creaminess and a, a, a warmth to the scent. Next, we have Talk Less, Smile More. I was so excited about this one. This is Pink Lemonade, Ginger Ale, and Muddled Raspberry Puree. You know me, I love my raspberry scents. And I love, love ginger ale. Now, when we talk about ginger ale versus fizzy pop, I talk about it all the time. Fizzy pop is good. Sometimes I feel like it can be too much because it's so citrus forward where ginger ale is more, it is fizzy, but it's, it almost has more cold. Like it has like a cold element to it. It's hard to describe. And this is captured. That pink lemonade, ginger ale, and raspberry Oh yeah, like a delicious, fizzy raspberry lemonade. I love this scent. And I feel like if you mixed raspberry and pink lemonade with fizzy pop, it would be overly citrusy. So taking out the fizzy pop and putting ginger ale, perfect. Now this one, America's favorite fighting Frenchman is lavender, peppermint, and rich vanilla cupcakes. And if you don't know, that is a Lafayette. Just a little Hamilton trivia. Now this peppermint is definitely like a nose clearing peppermint. This I'm definitely going to let cure for a while and use this on my bedside table um, as I go to sleep. It's like that nose clearing peppermint and the herbal lavender mixed with creamy cupcake. Mmm, really yummy. I would not want to eat a cupcake like this, but I definitely enjoy smelling it because I like, like I said, I like the nose clearing peppermint with the herbal lavender. Then we have Here Comes the General, and this is beautiful. This is a white heart with like red and blue stars. Citrus, bergamot, sea salt, cedarwood, teakwood, amber, and musk. That has to be like a cologne type of fragrance. Yeah, it, it, it kind of smells like a more citrusy mahogany teakwood, almost. Um, it's not my favorite. It's cologne-y, and like cologne scents are definitely not my favorite, but yeah, it's like a more citrusy forward mahogany teak one. It's good, it's just not my favorite. You know me, I'm a, I'm a bakery kind of guy. Then we have bakery, we have the Skylar sisters, Angelica, Peggy, and Eliza, and this is 
a raspberry zingers inspired blend. So yellow cake, raspberry frosting, vanilla filling, and coconut flakes. If you're familiar with um, a raspberry zinger, it's like the hostess. It's like a ho-ho, but it has raspberry coating and like shredded coconut. Delicious. It smells just like it. The raspberry is not as strong as I thought it would be. It's definitely more coconut cake. But this was also freshly poured January, so it definitely needs some cure time. Mmm, that's so yummy. Next we have the room where it happens. This is another one that's not a favorite. Ylang Ylang, sandalwood, tonka bean, musk, orange, and patchouli. It's just, it's very, very patchouli. This, I, my problem, I don't know where to melt these. I don't feel like in my main space because patchouli is so strong, but then in a bathroom, it's just not like clean and fresh. I don't know. Yeah, it's very orange patchouli heavy. It, it kind of reminds me of Karma from Lush. If you're familiar with that, it's like a like a citrusy patchouli type of fragrance. Not a huge fan of that one. Wait for it. Now this one. Raspberry filled hot cocoa truffles dusted with powdered sugar. This is my Valentine's Day scent. It smells like the best luxury dark chocolate truffle, but when you bite into it, it's filled with raspberry cordial, not a str not like a raspberry itself. Like, that juice that as soon as you bite it, you have to like eat the whole truffle, and then the flavors just explode in your mouth. It's so good. Like, that raspberry is so strong in here, mixed with the dark chocolate. Well, this says hot cocoa, but to me it reminds me more of like a dark chocolate truffle. It's fabulous. Say no to this. Strawberry pound cake, fresh picked strawberries, and strawberry white cake. Just a basic strawberry pound cake scent. And I hate to say basic, but I mean, it's strawberry pound cake. You really can't do many like iterations. Like, it's strawberry pound cake. And I feel like it's really weird when people are like, oh, strawberry pound cake, and strawberry white cake, and fresh picked strawberries, and strawberry this, and strawberry that. I'm like, it's strawberry. Like, it doesn't excite me. I want something like strawberry pound cake, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. Three distinct different blends. This is literally three strawberries in one. So, but again, it's a good scent. Um, it's funny that it says, say no to this as the name, which is a song in Hamilton. Because it's just strawberry. It's good, but it smells just like a strawberry pound cake scent. So, it's, like I said, it's not that anything against Kirby. I love Kirby or VCS. I just feel like, but for me, I need more. I need something more than just three blends of strawberries. Here we go. Rise up. Cinnamon glazed donuts, chestnuts and brown sugar, and zucchini bread. I also feel like three cents is the magic number in a blend. When you start to blend more than three fragrances, it can like, it can mash with the scent and like you don't really get all the different notes. So we have cinnamon glazed donuts, chestnuts and brown sugar, and zucchini bread. Zucchini bread is literally like 20% in this blend. It's, it's very far in the background. Chestnuts and brown sugar is sweet, buttery, gooey. And then the cinnamon glazed donuts. It's warm, it's baked. With that cinnamon sugar, it's a really, really nice, rich bakery scent. I would take this, actually, and mix it with the say no to this, like a piece and piece to get it like a cinnamony, almost like a strawberry coffee cake type of blend. I think that would be really good. And then the last Hamilton fragrance I have is Dear Theodosia. And this is purple sandalwood, flannel sheets, and satin sheets. Now this is a very, very masculine fragrance. It's very masculine. The flannel sheets, the satin sheets, and the purple sandalwood. Super cologne super sandalwood. I'm not really sure the distinction between purple sandalwood and regular sandalwood. I should do some research on that, hence have purple hair. I should know what purple sandal it is. But yeah, it, it's nice. It's a really nice blend, but I feel like 
for me, this is like a, this could be a bedroom set because of all the like bedroom like fragrances, like satin sheets, flannel sheets, all those like, it's not a laundry scent by any means. So those were the Hamilton scents and then I have a few little extra goodies. All right, from the Scream restock, I have Deputy Judy's Lemon Squares and this is the Scream face. I feel like Kirby's iconic for this now. Cheat on your diet and enjoy this decadent lemon squares blend. Such a great dessert. I feel like when you eat a lemon bakery like item, like a lemon square, it's almost like, am I cheating on my diet because it's lemon and I feel like it's cleaning, like it's cleansing. Like when you clean your house with lemon or you melt lemon bakery, it's more like, oh, refreshing. But then... And same thing when you eat it, it's like, I feel so healthy that I'm eating this 200 calorie little lemon square. That's what it smells like. It smells like, like a very rich, rich lemon, and it's not sour or tart lemon. It's a very creamy lemon. And I mean, some people just automatically assume that lemon comes off as cleaner all the time, but... I definitely prefer like lemon bakery over lemon cleaner. There's a few from Destination Wax that are really great lemon bakery. Then there's some, like her lemon glaze, it comes off as cleaner to me. This, the highlight of the Scream restock, Casey Becker. Lexi, I'm looking at you. Banana cream pie, blueberry cheesecake, and then buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey batter, and sugar and almonds, which is Kirby's like Magnolia Bakery fragrance. So banana cream pie, blueberry cheesecake, and like all the elements of a good bakery. It's like 40, 40, 20. 40% 40 banana cream pie, 40% blueberry cheesecake, and that rich 20% of like walking into a bakery. All the elements of like rolled dough and sugar and flour and butter and all those waitress inspired fragrances. Oh, it's so good. And I love Banana Bakery. I love Banana Bakery. And this one, totally, totally amazing. Then we have Sally's Strawberry Pound Cake um, Bakery. Just like, walking to an, just like walking into a bakery filled with sugar cookies and strawberry pound cake. Again, so to me, it just smells like strawberry pound cake. Um, maybe a tiny bit. Like, I feel like with strawberry pound cake scents, you really have to sniff the bag for a long time to try and like close your eyes and this is what I do. Like I close my eyes and I like picture all the different notes around my brain and then think about like where they are placed in the blend. And like if I really close my eyes, really sniff deep into the bag, I can smell the sugar cookie very faintly in the background because strawberry pound cake is such a strong oil and how much does your nose really detect sugar cookie versus like pound cake? So that's where that's where it's a little hairy for me, a little fuzzy on um, some blends. Like I know that Rose Girls um, for her pre-order, the only reason why I ordered the fragrance was because of Betty White. It's her farewell Betty White. It's like cup of cake, birthday cake, buttercream frosting, sugar cookie, white cake. And I'm like, really? Like. I don't know. I'm just like not impressed already without even smelling it because it's just going to be bakery. I, I don't know. I just, like I said, I need more. So like, for example, this one, Woodsboro Murders. Join Gail to solve the mystery with a boost of caffeine. Snickers birthday cake with a mug of cafe mocha. So we have Snickers, coffee cake, or birthday cake, and cafe mocha. And it's one of her cute little donut shapes. Um... I pick up on the coffee. It's like a creamy caramel coffee. Birthday cake is like that sweet, like sprinkles type of fragrance. And then a little bit. That's all I'm really getting from it. Like a light caramel coffee. So this was also, this was really poured fresh. This was poured January 13th. So it's only about literally 10 days old. So. I feel like with some cure time, her cafe mocha is really good, so I think it'll come out more. I have two little pumpkin shapes in Billy and Stew, and this is black linen, amber, and sweet laundry. So, it's like, this is just a laundry fragrance to me. Like a very, 
very strong laundry. And this was also poor January 13th, but this is strong. I love laundry. It also kind of freaks me out when people are like, oh, I don't like laundry scents. Like, you don't like your house to smell like clean, like fresh laundry? I don't know. I like the idea of fresh laundry scent. I don't want it every single day, but it is nice to have, um, to have some in there. And then we have Kirby the Cinephile. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is her Skittles house blend. So it says strawberry, lemon, orange, grape, lime, and a dash of cotton candy. I opened this up and I immediately, it smells like Skittles. It smells exactly like Skittles. Like straight up, like the hard candy covered Skittles. It's amazing how she can capture the scent of a Skittle in wax. It smells just like it. This, because this was poured in January too. Um, obviously it was poured in January. Right. Um, this will be amazing for Easter. It will have nice cure time by the time Easter comes. That's going to be like an Easter basket week. And then, look how cute. Kirby did throw these in my bag as a little extra. This is Christmas tree cakes and raspberry ice cream. I've been dying to try this one. It's her now new classic fragrance Christmas tree cake ice cream, which is vanilla ice cream, yellow cake, vanilla buttercream, and a touch of green sprinkles mixed with raspberry, which is her, like, famous raspberry, and oh my gosh, these are three little Easter eggs, so I'll pop one in each of my warmers. It smells so good. It smells just like the Little Debbie Christmas cakes with raspberry, and I mean, could you imagine if those cakes were filled with, like, a raspberry buttercream inside? Heaven. And then last but not least, there's no place like home zucchini. Pumpkin pecan waffles and creamy zucchini bread. I had to get this in a loaf because pum pumpkin pecan waffles is a scent I always want to have on hand. And Kirby's zucchini bread is one of the best out there. She has perfected her zucchini bread oil because to me, personally, her zucchini bread does not smell corn chippy. I have smelled corn chippy zucchini breads out there. Hers does not smell corn chippy. And the pumpkin pecan waffles, I mean, pumpkin pecan waffles are just fabulous. I have it as my car scent literally all of winter. Like, I've now come up with, like, that's my signature car scent, which I know is, like, rich, decadent bakery deliciousness. But when you think of me, that's what you should think of. Eh, rich, delicious bakery goodness. And that is a car scent from Bath & Butterworks that is super strong. And blended with pumpkin with zucchini bread and pumpkin pecan waffles... Heaven. I bet, Lori Brown, you have tried this scent. I'm sure you have. There's no place like home zucchini. If you haven't, you must. So that was my little vintage chic scents haul. I'm super excited to pop these in my collection. My drawer of VCS that literally won't even close anymore. I should not have placed this order, but you know how it goes with waxies, right? We get addicted. What can we say? Um... I'm so excited for this low-buy collab continuing. Next week is loaf week. This week we're melting our favorites. It's a snowy day again in Pittsburgh. Um, I have white on because I'm heading to work. Um, but yeah, love this collab. Love VCS. And I think we've all really learned a lot about each other, about what we love, what we don't love. Um, yeah, I think we've just really... We've really grown closer as a group of people, um, YouTubers, um, and I think it's super fun. Yes, it can be challenging, um, but uh, I just love the smell. And, um, yeah, I love it, though. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe. Make it a better world, and I love you all so much. Have a great day. Bye, guys.